hot seat right now today. In fact, lawmakers peppered higher ups with questions about a fake ticket scandal. And that scandal has created a state and federal investigation. Channel 3 chief political reporter Susan Rath is in Hartford where lawmakers were looking for answers. Lawmakers on two committees had lots of questions. They wanted to know how this happened and why. And they want to know what's being done to stop it and to hold those accountable. I'm angry, to say the least, and disappointed. This is the person lawmakers really want answers from, James Ravella, commissioner for the Connecticut State Police. He's in charge of a police force at the center of a fake ticket scandal. It started after four troopers got caught falsifying traffic stops. That prompted an independent audit. We have a high level of confidence that false and inaccurate records were submitted to the racial profiling database. The audit found 26,000 false tickets. And while they weren't actually given to anyone, it skewed racial data because most of the troopers put down white for race. What's the push for more tickets? You get pressure from your superior. You don't get certain work assignments. You don't get a new car. You get transferred further away from your home. We're talking about hundreds of our officers that's alleged of engaging in this kind of behavior. And if, in fact, it is true, I think those individuals uh, should not be uh, in law enforcement. Governor Lamont has hired a former U.S. attorney to investigate. What's important for me for the leadership is get to the bottom of this, full transparency, leave no stone unturned. There are a lot of numbers out here, but I think in the end the takeaway is that there were troopers who lied. Yeah, there's no way around that, Ralph. Commissioner Ravella confirmed today that the U.S. Department of Transportation has subpoenaed records and there could be a meeting with the commissioner soon. As for the state investigation, it could take several weeks or months. And in the meantime, the trust and reputation of the state police may have been damaged. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.